Number two, frequent colds and flu. Eating or drinking too much sugar stops the white blood cells of the immune system from attacking foreign bodies when you get sick. You see, the vitamin C that your body needs to fight illnesses is very similar in its chemical structure to glucose. So instead of looking for and working with vitamin C, your immune system tries to use glucose, which doesn't help much since it has zero power against bacteria and viruses. Therefore, instead of fighting off a sickness, your immune system suffers from it. To keep your immune system functioning the way it should, cut down on sugar when you're at risk of getting a cold or the flu and eat more nutrient-rich fruits and vegetables that contain vitamin C and E, as well as beta-carotene and zinc. This will help your system win the battle. Number one, feeling bloated. Bloating and painful gas, along with other digestive discomfort, can be caused by different foods, and those high in sugar are among them. That's because bloating is directly connected to what you eat and how your body can digest it. If sugar isn't absorbed into the small intestine, and not all of it will if there's too much, it'll enter the large intestine where it usually acts like a gas-producing bacteria. Too much sugar can easily wreak havoc on your gut, so try to avoid artificial sweeteners, Diet Coke, and sugary snacks. There are plenty of other foods that'll make you feel way better, and that's the most important. Okay, now that we've gone through all the possible symptoms of sugar overdosing, that begs the question, exactly how much sugar is too much? According to the World Health Organization, the recommended dose of sugar should be less than 10% of your daily energy intake. This daily 10% is about two tablespoons of sugar. And remember, it's always better to get this daily amount from natural products like fruits, vegetables, nuts, or whole grain cereals. When you eat healthy, you feel healthy. So make the right food choices for yourself and you'll feel amazing every single day.